Emily here with Glocks at Home. Um, I'm going to be doing a video today on starting seeds inside. Um, I'm actually in my greenhouse right now, but all my soil and stuff is out here. So um, I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I do. It's going to be different depending on where you live, um, what growing, um, what growing zone you are in um, and then kind of how I get my seeds through until it's time to actually plant them in the garden. Um, so we are in Eastern Oregon, I believe that is zone four. Um, so we don't have a super long growing season, but it's also not super short. Um, I typically start most of my stuff inside, some sooner than others. Um, I'm actually a little bit behind this year, but we're just going to go for it. So, um, things that I'll be starting very first inside are um, tomatoes and peppers. Um, those need a long time. Um, they typically have anywhere from 60 to 120 um, days before you can harvest the fruit. Um, they also are not frost hardy, so they can't just be planted outside um, early spring because they do not handle cold weather well. Um, they also need um, heat to germinate, um, otherwise they will take forever to germinate or they won't germinate at all. So um, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with um, planting some pepper seeds um, that were saved from last year. Um, and basically I have, let's see if I can show you guys, um, just my trays here. I'm going to label and then um, plant in there and I will show you how that looks. Okay, I have sprayed my soil with um, some water. You can do that before or after you plant. I typically just make a little tiny um, hole there. I already put a seed in that one. Just enough to um, get your seed down in there. I'm going to put... Oops. Okay. Get your seeds in and then um, peppers are typically you just, you don't want them too deep. Um, so I just kind of put some soil back over the top. And we'll spray it over again. Ooh. Okay, I have finished planting uh, my seeds, just um, onions, tomatoes, and peppers today. And I had to get a jacket because it is snowing outside. Um, so I want to touch on things to start inside um, and what I don't start inside. Again, this will vary on um, what zone you're in. So typically the only things I don't start inside are things like lettuce, kale, um, most spinaches I don't. I do have a special kind of spinach that is not frost hardy um, that will be started inside, but um, let's see what else. Obviously like potatoes don't get started inside. Um, so that leads into stages of planting. So today we did um, tomatoes, peppers, onions, and I did do some celery. So these are the first things that get planted. They need a lot longer to germinate. Um, they need longer growing season. And um, that's how they get started first. So the next things that I would typically start inside would be um, things like broccoli, cabbage. Um, those would be next. I kind of do them um, a few weeks apart so things like cucumbers zucchini squash pumpkins anything like that um, those get big really fast and so it's hard to contain them in pots those are typically my last things to get started inside 
Melons are a little tricky because they need such a long growing season. Um, but they do tend to get um, bigger faster than some things. So that is something I will, I actually probably should have started with them today and I might do that. Um, but as far as things to start inside, that is um, kind of the way that I do it. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is um, grow lights and your plants um, sprouting. So if you are somewhere where it's cold, like we are where it's currently snowing outside, um, you need to start these inside um, and you need to have a light on them. So the way I do it, and I'll show some pictures, um, is you want your light very, very low. Um, you don't want your stuff reaching for the light. Um, and I have had issues with this in the past because I didn't know. Um, gardening is a lot of trial and error and that's how we learn. So um, when you first start, you wanna have your lights really low and then as your seeds pop up um, and start hitting the light, you can then raise it. Ooh. You never want to have your light um, too high that your plants are really reaching um, and I'll show another picture but your plants will get really leggy um, which is where the stem gets really tall and then it's floppy and most of the time those plants don't survive um, you can however save them uh, by planting them in deeper soil sometimes you'll be able to save them that way um, it's just something that I try to avoid because I've lost a lot of plants that way um, so when it's ready, um, to either go outside in the ground or you're ready to move out to your greenhouse if it's warm enough, um, at night, um, there's two different things. So if you're going to put them in the greenhouse, um, you can go ahead and put them out. I started doing, um, heat lamps at night and I'll show you, um, I have these uh, lined all the way, not currently, but I will, um, and that's what gets on the plants at night to keep them warm. In the greenhouse, um, during the day it's always fine, and then um, if you're going to put them straight in the ground, um, you need to harden them off, and this is something I also learned the hard way. Um, the first year I planted seeds inside, I just took them out, planted them in, and they were dead the next day. Um, when your plants are not used to the actual sun, um, it's too hard on them. So you need to start with a few hours a day of sticking them out in the sunlight and then bringing them in. Um, <clears throat> this will harden them off to the wind and the sun. And my dog is chasing mice. Um, so start with a few hours and then slowly work up to where they're outside um, obviously all day. You can do it within a week. Um, you just don't want to take them out and plant them the same day because they will for sure die. Okay, let's talk transplanting. So starting things like peppers and tomatoes this early, well typically should have been earlier, um, they're going to outgrow these little containers obviously. Um, what I typically do is when they outgrow this, where their roots are getting bound in the bottom, you don't um, want them to be like that for too long. You can move up to the next size. So you're just going to um, pluck the, the whole root um, dirt plant out, um, replant it in here with new soil, and then let them grow. And then Typically with tomatoes, I'm going to do this probably three or four times. Um, we'll move up to something like this. And then usually the last one before getting planted is going to be this size. Um, it does take a lot of soil, but you can't leave them in here forever. And so um, it does require some work that way. Um, it's also why you need a lot of space, a uh, greenhouse or whatever, for having those big containers because they do start to take up room. Um, and then, perfect. Um, 
same thing if they're in your greenhouse and you have your big tomato plants, they're ready to get planted outside, you still need to harden them off um, because even though they're in the greenhouse with the actual sunlight, they're still not hardened off to wind and the straight light of the sun. Um, so again, take a few days to a week to harden those off outside, bringing them back in after a few hours, um, and then you should be ready to go ahead and plant. So I hope I've answered your questions. Don't hesitate to reach out. Um, this is all a growing thing. We all start somewhere and I still learn stuff every year and that is the beauty of gardening.